Welcome back uh, everyone, uh, Yunus here with uh, Arc Automation Consulting. Uh, in this uh, video we are going to see how we can publish uh, data from our Alan Bradley PLC uh, back to the uh, MQTT uh, broker. So with no uh, further delays, let's start. So per our uh, previous uh, video where uh, we uh, learned how uh, we can subscribe, we can unsubscribe to our topics and why not, this time we're going to see how we can uh, publish data from our uh, PLC to our uh, MQTT uh, broker. So, uh, what I have uh, in here, so I have this um, routine, and I'm just going to go over this routine uh, a little bit before we touch up on the settings and why not, just to give you guys an idea what's happening here. So the first thing I want to touch on here before we get to the settings and why not, and what I'm trying to do with this uh, rungs. So I have here the publish uh, add instruction. The publish add instruction, add, add instruction, as we will see here in a moment, it has the ability to only have uh, one topic uh, in there, in the settings. So one way uh, that you can publish to multiple topics using the same add instruction is we can, you know, basically uh, uh, just uh, uh, circle through the topics we want to go through and then just fire one at a time and that's essentially what I'm doing in here so I'm just grabbing the topics as you can see here that we subscribe to in the uh, uh, from the previous uh, video and then I'm putting some payload in here just some values that I'm passing to my payload in the config for the uh, publish and I'm just you know doing a little index in here so I can uh, circle through the uh, the whole array uh, in there. So that's what this is uh, really all doing. So once I trigger this, you will see here a bunch of values, and you will see the the values are being uh, pushed live in this MQTT client here, uh, Explore, as well as back to our PLC because our PLC also subscribed to those same topics. So we're going to see them here and in here. So. Uh, and we're going to see that here in a moment. But before that, let's see what the settings that we need to do for the MQTT publish uh, to work. So what we have here is we have we have to specify the topic we want to publish the data to, and then we have to specify the payload, you know, the the message, and then we have a couple settings here like the retain, quality servers, uh, service, sorry, and the duplication. So. Right now, they're all just default zero, so I'm just going to leave that at zero to keep it uh, simple for now. And that's about the settings we will have uh, to do in here. Okay, so I'm going to trigger this, um, and also I'm going to trigger this one as well. And as you see here, immediately as I did that, you see the values are now updating uh, as basically based on the scan time of the PLC. And you can see here, it just, you know, going through those topics. Uh, I think we have like 13 topics or uh, some somewhere in there. So now to show you a little bit uh, about this. Um, so I have here this payload. So if I change this value here, so you can see the, this 36%, which is correspond to this one right here values. If I change this to, uh, you know, 75% or something, you will see it immediately changed in here. So this client here got the, the new value, as well as our PLC. If we look at our PLC under the, the sub stats here and the payloads, you see we have the same value here. So now, because the, like I said, the PLC also subscribed to that same topics, he's going to get the values as well, as well as this client, and as well as, you know, any other clients that are subscribing to those same uh, 
uh, topics. In the same way, if I change maybe another value like this uh, test uh, payload 2, uh, I can say test uh, my uh, publish uh, UI for example. And as soon as I do that, you see it, it changed here in this client. And then if I look at here, it's again changed here in uh, my PLC as well, uh, just like that. So that's really uh, as simple as, as that. And also, um, if you, you know, like this is all obviously one way to, to go through these uh, topics. Uh, but obviously there is there's many ways to do to do this i mean we could uh essentially uh format all these data maybe in, in a json in one message for example and send all that in a json message and then uh, we will have to receive it in the plc and do a little bit of uh, extraction of that information to grab the values and vice versa uh and 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 so forth. With that uh, being said, I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. I hope this uh, MQTT library for the Alambrati PLCs uh, you found it useful. Um, and if you have any questions um, or uh, some uh, clarifications, uh, feel free to to uh, to get in uh, in touch. Again, thank you very much for all your support, um, and I will see you in the next one.